I'm Lottie and I study Classics and English at Morden College. My name is Claire. I work at the APGRD, the Archive of Performances of Greek and Roman Drama. I'm also uh, putting together a doctorate on the concept of authenticity in early 20th century classical receptions and I teach on the reception paper. So classical reception is sort of the study of the way in which the modern world or even the world, the post-classical world, interacts with ancient texts and ideas. So that could be something very, very close to the original incipient text. So for instance, uh, a Callimachean influence in Catullus, right up until something more contemporary. So for instance, um, Derek Walcott's Omeros or K Tempest Philoctetes at the National last year. You're not uh, just looking at classically inflected English text. You are truly looking at the interplay and interweaving uh, between the two um, the two literary, uh, literary traditions. I found the prospect of looking at the way in which we still interact with the classics today really exciting. Um, I am someone who is never imbibed in the sort of dead language argument that just shuts down any relevance. I think the classics is a really rich springboard and the way in which people have been interacting with it forever is so interesting. The very fact that classical reception is there is testament to the fact that these languages do still live, these stories do still live on. For a classic student, the opportunity to take the reception paper in their final year invites this huge opening out um, and this enormous interdisciplinary potential. Reception at Oxford is a coursework paper and it's actually a sort of unique coursework paper in that you get um, lectures. They then get some one-to-one -one tutorials um, with a tutor whose interests are aligned with their own. Where you're thinking through your areas of interest um, and coming up with some specific ideas. They then go away and produce an extended essay. So it's a very flexible paper. You get to choose which classical authors and which modern authors you'd like to study um, and also the angle that you want to study them with. I think Oxford is a particularly good place to study reception because of the room we're in right now. So we're currently in the APGRD's study room, um, surrounded by more books than you could possibly wish for looking at uh, classical reception. So sort of anything you could possibly be interested in, you can have access to. I think reception is really worth studying because it allows you to think about multiple different things at once, but also the way in which they create meanings that are sort of more than the sum of their parts. You might be an excellent philologist, but you kind of want to go a little bit beyond that and understand what the impact of of these texts and these stories have had. You can think about Ovid or Virgil or any classical author, but you can also think about the way in which they're important and the way in which they have shaped literature. Um, and perhaps even more excitingly, the way in which um, people are doing exciting or radical or new things with ideas that have existed for thousands of years. I would suggest that someone looking to find out a bit more about reception consults a couple of websites in the first instance. Um, so the APGRD's website has a lot of um, materials kind of acting as an introduction to, to reception theory, but also podcasts, recordings, lectures. We also have a couple of um, interactive eBooks. I would also recommend that someone interested in reception consult the uh, Classical Reception Studies Network, the CRSN. They have an amazing website full of really cool guest blog posts. They run a lot of events. Anyone can come along. It doesn't matter if you're currently studying reception or not come along, say hello, chat to people, find out what they're working on, and you'll probably leave feeling, feeling quite inspired.